This is the best way I've found of making the snood length exactly the same for rig making. So I've taken this block of wood and I've put two screws in it, one on either end. Uh, you can use nails as well for this. And we're using this snood as the template there. You hook the hook around one of them and you take the swivel back to a marker and you can put various markers on it depending on the snood that you're tying. Once you tie a lot, you, you know, you'll keep using that same mark. You could even write on there. As you can see, that's exactly the measurement there. It comes round uh, so you don't get any slack in the line. So what we're going to do, we're going to use it again for the second snood, which we want to be exactly the same. So I've got the same length there. You could measure it as well, but we're just using this as the measurer. And then you see where the black mark is there. That's obviously the point that I want to have the swivel coming off. So what I do is I put my fingers on that mark and take it off the wooden block now. And just keeping a very close eye on where this line's going to bend. Let me get rid of that. You put a kink in the line and you actually just do it with your nails. And you can see there that it's going to be in the middle of that loop. And the way I get around this is I actually put that in my mouth and then draw it through between my sets of teeth. You don't need to see that bit. Um, and it puts a little kink in the line. So I'm not damaging the line. Uh, when I've taken it out of my mouth, you can see that it's got quite a pronounced little mark there. I'm using an oversized swivel here just to make it easier for the demonstration. So run the swivel along to the mark and a little bit more. So you can see where the, the little nick is there. And then you're just going to tie the knot in the normal way. One, two, three, four, five. Go through the loop. And then you've got to watch quite carefully here. And you can actually feel, and you see where it's biting. It actually bites on that little kink. So that will follow that all the way through. You need to sort of tweak it through a little bit but it will actually bite on that kink and you'd moisten it here at this point as well but I'm just feeling that along and that kink now is exactly at the end of that knot so that when we put it back on the block just to test the uh, length of it it's exactly the same as the first one there you go a real simple way of making the snoods the same length